All eyes are on Tropical Storm Brett as it moves towards the Caribbean. What's going on, guys? I'm certified meteorologist Jonathan Kegas, and in this video, we're going to break Brett down, show you the latest path, and some of the impacts for our friends in the Caribbean islands. Then I want to show you Invest 93L. That's the secondary disturbance right on the heels of Brett. But there's another wave, a big juicy wave that just rolled off of Africa that also has a shot to develop. Stick around towards the end of the video. I will show you where that could be headed as the satellite looks a lot more like August than June. Hey, if you want to stay updated before we get into this video on all things weather, especially this hurricane season, you have to hit subscribe. Please do that. And if you find this content helpful, please hit that thumbs up button. It really does help me out a lot. All right, so here is the latest on Brett. Nice flare-up of thunderstorms, unfortunately, on the west side. It looks a little healthier on the afternoon of June 21st. It's still not expected to explode. We're not expecting it to get real big and strong, but the, main, the intensity might be able to be maintained. You see the outflow here, the outflow channels, those white cloud tops there, certainly a little more symmetric. It's gotten itself at least away from this time anyway, from some of the wind shear that had been keeping it on the weaker side over the past few days. Brett is now a 60 mile per hour tropical storm, sustained winds. Here is the official forecast as of the 11 o'clock advisory on June 21st, from the National Hurricane Center. You see it coming through here by Thursday at 8 o'clock. It's going to be right there. That S means expected to maintain tropical storm status. And then as we get towards 8 o'clock on Thursday, the center likely going to pass either right over or just north of the island of Barbados and then head towards Dominica, into St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and into Martinique right in through here. That's going to be happening as we get into Thursday and into early Friday morning. That little blue stripe there, that is the government of St. Lucia issuing a tropical storm warning. The yellow represents a tropical storm watch for Barbados, for Martinique, and for Dominica, uh, Dominica, excuse me. And as we get into later on the 21st, those will likely be upgraded to warnings. Different governments in play, that is why they're not all uniform there. So just be on the lookout that we're likely going to see tropical storm conditions from St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Barbados. Dominica, into Martinique, and then, of course, St. Lucia as well. Spaghetti models, all in agreement, pretty much. Right smack dab through the Lesser Antilles, and then kind of dying out in the Central and Western Caribbean. The models continue that way, but it will likely be a remnant low by that point. Only outlier is the Hurricane Wharf. We talked about this in a previous video. If this was going to get real big and real strong quick, it would have the tendency to tug north. It did not do that, and that is why we're going to be talking about impacts in the Caribbean from Brett. It still keeps it on the stronger side, and that's why there's still that northerly tug towards Jamaica into Cuba. This is not going to happen. It's likely going to continue to follow this path and then meet up with wind shear, and then I, and then it's going to go away. In the short term, though, we're concerned about some gusty winds and some very, very heavy rain. So I want to show you the wind model first, and then we're going to take a look at Invest 93 L, the secondary system. So what we have going on here, I have this set, this set for early Thursday morning, June 22nd, 8 a.m., wind gusts on Barbados. Here we go with Barbados. Let me just circle that for you. And then here we go with where we have uh, uh, Dominica, we have Martinique, St. Lucia, and then St. Vincent and the Grenadines. These are going to be the islands that we are most concerned with as... Brett kind of works its way through. So let me take this further out in time, and you'll see the wind speeds increase. Now, you notice it's not crazy. I think we could have wind gusts pushing 45 to 50 miles an hour, especially on the north side of Barbados, but nothing too extreme for us. Notice where the strongest winds are loaded on the northerly, northerly side of the system. So the northern side of the system is going to be the strongest side here, wind gusts 60 to 70 miles an hour. So let me take this further out into the future as we get towards the island. So you see around Martinique, we have wind gusts of around 50 miles an hour, and those are likely going to increase a little bit. This is now Thursday afternoon, the 22nd, June 22nd, and then through the evening. So now I have this paused at nine o'clock at night. You see there, 51 mile per hour wind gusts, a little bit lower, still hanging around that 50, maybe even as high as, six, as 60 miles an hour into Dominica. Martinique again into St. Lucia, still 50 to 60 mile per hour wind gusts. I would not be surprised if we can get up to 70 as this comes through. But there are your wind gusts through there. 
Notice it's still very breezy. This is going to be 2 o'clock in the morning, and you see wind gusts on the islands anywhere from 40 to 50 miles an hour still as the heavy rain continues. And then you see that big blob of purple. This is where Brett is out here. That's the wind field of Brett. Things are a little breezy. This is going to be now Friday, the 23rd of June at 10 o'clock. Still holding on to wind gusts to the islands of about 20 to 40 miles an hour. I'll back that up in case you're watching from uh, Trinidad and Tobago and you're interested in that. Notice, I mean, this is going to be a walk in the park. Maybe a few gusty little downpours, but just uh, gusty winds on a widespread scale. Not really looking into that. You see the center kind of heading towards uh, St. Vincent and the Grenadines right there. But notice... The strongest of the winds are on the northerly side, on the northern side of the system. So it is northerly loaded, as we call it. All right, post in the comments if you have any questions on Brett. I will answer those. Here is 93L. It's just a blob, but it does have a high chance to become our next tropical depression. There's really not much going for it, just some unorganized scattered showers and thunderstorms. There's a little bit of southwesterly winds there, a little curl on the northerly side, but otherwise... That's really about it. I want to show you the modeling when it comes to 93L. And by the way, this website is tropicaltidbits.com. It is a great, great website for all your tropical information and weather information. Here are the computer models. And still, we're going to watch this closely because there is an opportunity for the Caribbean to be impacted by 93L. You see some of the southerly models anyway. They're outliers, but that would still... Take it towards the Virgin Islands, certainly towards uh, Martinique and points north, and then towards Puerto Rico. With all likelihood, though, we're going to see this kind of curve up that way, hopefully missing all of the Caribbean islands. But we are going to keep a close eye on that because at this stage in the game, we don't have a center. That is the thing. This is not a well-defined system. And when they're not well-defined, that's when there's a lot of uncertainty because if the models don't know where the center is to start, it's really not going to know where it's going in the end point, again, if it doesn't know where it's starting. So we're going to watch this closely as there's going to be a lot of uncertainty. And again, you see the spread really anywhere uh, from uh, towards the Virgin Islands, towards Antigua, Barbuda, and then all the way out at sea. So we are going to watch that as well. I want to show you the, this is the, the GFS now, again, the ensembles here. And the mean kind of takes it up. There are a few of those members towards the Northeast Caribbean. I had a question of if we could see 93L come to the U.S. if it misses that way. I have this way out into the future now. This is going to be on June 29th. little ball of energy there. That is Invest 93L. That is likely going to be Tropical Depression 4, if not by that time, maybe even Cindy. Maybe even a hurricane. That looks like it's a pretty aggressive ball there of energy. That's the vorticity a couple thousand feet above your head there. Uh, excuse me, this is going to be way above your head. This is fifteen to 20,000 feet. This is going to be the 500 millibar. Because what I want to show you here is that it's unlikely that 93L comes to the U.S. Big chunk of high pressure here. Then we have this dip in the jet stream right in here. That would act to guide it away from the U.S., and then send it out to sea. If 93L were to slow down, though, and let that trough pass by, I mean, there's another little dip, too. So it'd be really, really hard for 93L to come to the United States. So just keep that in mind. It's something we're going to watch. If it would slow down considerably and miss its way out, maybe the U.S. would be in play. But that is such a small scenario. Again, the way that that high pressure has been anchored, if you're watching from Texas, you know how hot it has been. That is the reason why that big upper high that's been baking uh, parts of the desert southwest and Texas specifically, and then that dip in the jet stream should keep the U.S. protected uh, from anything tropically as well. All right, so I mentioned, I mentioned about this looks like an August satellite. I always like to use the term, once we get to August, they're lined up like ducks because here we have Disturbance 1. This is Brett. Disturbance 2, that is tropical. Uh, it's a tropical wave right now. But this is a high likelihood of becoming Tropical Depression 4. And then there's this big juicy wave rolling off the coast of Africa. Again, mentioned Brett's going that way. Okay. We're still in question as to what happens once it gets out here with 93L. 
And then there's a lot of questions with that one. But I want to show you the European ensembles here. So this is a lot going on on this map. A lot of L's. And I'm going to show you. Don't pay all these L's here as I remove all of my telestration. They don't mean that's how many storms are going to be. They're the different members of the European model. It's an ensemble forecast with different initial conditions are put in there. And you they spit out their own idea. And when you get a consensus, even with different initial conditions... That's where your confidence really grows. And when you're looking at a long-range thing, ensembles are the way to go because, again, it conveys some of that uncertainty. Operational models are going to be all over the place. So flip-flop, windshield wiper back. And that's where you get the people hyping. It'll show a huge hurricane one run and then nothing the next. So, again, got to be careful with that and what you see on social media. You're not going to find that on this channel. Anyway, here is Jamaica. That, those are the ensembles for Brett down here. These are the ensembles for 93L likely becoming Tropical Depression 4. Then we have all of these L's here. That is from the disturbance that is rolling off of Africa as we speak. So let me take this back a little bit so I can kind of show you a little more clear the, where all, they, all these storms are. That's Brett. That's 93L. And then you see it kind of losing its signal a little bit as it works its way southwest of the Cabo Verde Islands. But then you see it kind of get some members back the l's start to grow a little bit as it approaches the caribbean it doesn't look like anything too terribly strong but it does look like as we get towards june 28th 29th there may be another eastern caribbean threat from an albeit weak system at least at this point but again that is way way out there as we close out june so again this pattern is super super weird for june this is something that resembles August. We typically do not have these things rolling off like this this time of the year, let alone develop. And we've already seen that with Brett. And we may see that again with 93L and potentially a third time a little bit later in June over the next week to 10, to 10 days. Hey, guys, thank you so much for tuning in again. If you found this helpful, if you love tracking the weather, if you love the tropics or just want to stay informed, You've come to the right place. Please hit that subscribe button. If you hit the notification bell, you'll be alerted to any time we post new content. And again, post in the comments where you're watching from. That'd be awesome to have that conversation. And if you have any questions, please post them in the comments. And I'll get back to you. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. And we'll catch you next time.